I got some great news. We have options. We have choices. We can make decisions anytime we want, especially right now. I, for the longest, was going on and on and on about, oh, I want to reinvent myself. Oh, I want this. Oh, I want that. I want to, wah, wah, wah. What to do? Oh, I cut my hair, lose weight. Wah, wah, wah. It wasn't even about the superficial at all. I knew that cutting my hair and losing weight was not the reinvention that I was thirsty and hungry for. That was not what I my soul wanted. My soul wanted to be fed. And I was giving myself, just by not making any changes, giving myself an excuse to just stay in a box. Listening to my ego, which the ego is here to protect us. And it does a very, very good job at doing that, which is why a lot of us stay in our boxes, which is why only 1% of the people who say they want to start business and be successful at it and just go out there and do their thing, actually do it. Everyone else's transformation starts in the conception phase. It doesn't go beyond that. It's the doing that's important. <laughs> it's the doing, not the talking, not the thinking. And a lot of times we're afraid to become the person that we need to be in order to resonate with whatever outcome that we're seeking. So, you know, people talk about the law of attraction and all that. The law of attraction is only one of several spiritual principles or spiritual laws of the universe. There is the law of resonance. Let's just talk about that for a quick second. You, the, the universe responds to who you are, not to what you want or what you say you want and not just uh, what you think. There's like a whole thing that goes with that. And while the concept is very simple, it can be difficult for some people to kind of put it all together because we are um, creatures of habit. We're very, um, how should I say? We're just, um, we're programmed to put it in a, um, yeah, we're programmed. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it really what you have to ask yourself if you want change, if you are looking at a final goal, I shouldn't say a final goal because we always, once we achieve one goal, we got another one and another one and another one. It's almost as if we're never satisfied. However, it is meant for us to constantly evolve and grow. And by grow, I mean just allow what's already within us to unfold. So that is how it is supposed to be because... The universe is always expanding. So you want to expand and grow with it. And, and to not do that can create chaos and pain in your life. Um, but, and I almost lost my thought. <laughs> but the point I'm making is, is you want to start right now. You want to do the thing that you want. You want to get started on the thing that you want right now. And you can start it with small steps. Who is the person that you need to become in order to be there where you are vision, envisioning and visualizing the thing that you say you want? And a lot of times we say we want things, but it's really deeper than that. It's more than that. We might want an experience. You know, we might want freedom. We might want a specific type of lifestyle. What is it that you need to do in order to obtain that or to get there? And you just, even at the smallest step, something that's a, a low resistance act, you can do that, add that to your day to start creating a new story for yourself. You are not who you were yesterday or last month or last year. If you want to make the change, you can actually do that. You have options, you have choices, you have power. Be empowered. Until the next time, live simply and be kind.